Hey guys, Joe here, and here I am to talk to you about how you can increase your server rate slash percent in Xenoblade Chronicles X, and with all that said, let's get this started. So to start off to get percent, you really need to just go to where all the probe spots are and then place a probe right there. Now this will give you a huge percent and a huge chunk of the map, and it's pretty nice to do and it's probably the easiest thing to do, but after you do place that probe, there's a lot of other stuff that will show up. And some of those are mainly the mini quests or the segment recons that will appear on the bottom screen next to where you did place the probe, and those can be completed to get a lot more percent, and that's how you do get the majority of percent on the survey rate. So what are these quests that you do have to complete? Well, there are four of them, and they aren't really way too hard to complete in general. So the first one is to kill a tyrant. All you need to do for this is venture into one of the hexagons that does have a monster body in it, and look around until you do find that tyrant. Now, you've probably already seen one in this in an earlier chapter, but if you don't remember how to spot one, then this may help. So in general, tyrants are monsters that have abnormal abilities and have abnormal names. Now, you can spot these easily while running around the map by looking for dark clouds right next to the monster's name that does, of course, have a level on it. After you beat that monster, you will have completed the quest, and you will receive some easy survey percent. After that, there are the treasure box missions, or kind of the treasure box sparkly tar type of thing, and with this, all you really need to do is find a certain item on the map and interact with that certain piece on the map, like opening up a box or using your biology field skill on a certain plant on the ground. Now, really with this, all you do have to do is just run around the map and kind of interact with everything that you can find, and it does take a little bit of time to find these, but in general, they are pretty easy to do and not way too complicated. After that, you have the normal mission, which does have the symbol of a little document type of thing, which means that you do have to complete a normal mission, or what I like to call side missions. Now, these can be found just by talking to people in New LA, or by talking to people in the open world, and of course, the mission list. Now, when you do accept certain missions, it will actually show up in a hexagon on the bottom screen, of course, on your gamepad, and the map portion of your gamepad, and after you complete that quest, the hexagon will turn into a shield, and you will receive a reward, that being survey percent. This is, again, pretty simple. All you have to do is complete the quest at hand, but can take a little bit more time. Finally, there are the affinity missions, and the symbol for this is just two hands holding each other, and of course you'll see it on the bottom screen. Now, you can find affinity missions inside of your blade barracks, and they just really require you to have certain levels on your characters and certain characters in your party. They usually do coincide quite a bit with the plot and make your characters a lot more interesting. And again, once completed, the symbol at the bottom of the screen will turn into a resolve picture, and you will get that percent just like normal missions. It's very similar, but it's just kind of called affinity, and you do find these in your blade barracks, at least most of the time. A nice finishing tip is to look around New LA and look for people with a yellow mark above their heads. If you do pass somebody with a yellow marker above their heads, it will actually set a mark on one of the hexagonal maps, and when you click on that mark on the hexagonal map at the bottom screen, it will say everything that you must do in that region to complete the region, so that can help a little bit, and it can tell you exactly what to attack. After it is completed, of course, it will become a shield icon like the rest, and you will once again gain some percent. So in general, this is probably one of the things that you'll actually have to use quite often. Of course, you do need certain survey percent to complete certain quests, to get into certain chapters, and to just complete the storyline overall. So I hope this did help you a little bit. I hope that it did get you a bit less confused. Make sure to press that like button if it did that, and comment down below any questions that you do have for the future. Press the subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you all next time.